He's handed things over to his health director to determine how Dallas County will respond. His big concern was opening movie theaters. Uh, I think, though, what we know is that when you look at other science-based plans, movie theaters are not one of the first things that's open. And so I think it's going to be incumbent on the residents here to use good, smart decision-making. And just because something can be open doesn't mean it should be open. And just because something is open doesn't mean you should go there. My focus now is on doing everything we can um, to make sure that what the governor has uh, said he wants to allow to start opening on Friday um, actually um, works. Mayor Johnson stressed that he doesn't think the city has enough testing. He's focused on that element. Both leaders said that even though this may not be their timing, they are resolved, though, to make this work safely in Dallas. Judge Jenkins added that some of the guidelines from the governor relating to businesses, at least, are more voluntary, and so he wanted to try and set up some rules to make sure that those guidelines are followed safely. Lauren? All right, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. And Tarrant County Commissioner trying to figure out what this is going to look like. So that stay-at-home order for everyone, because this is what the governor said, is going to end on Thursday. So commissioners will also discuss the governor's plan to reopen businesses. Okay, so, oh, here we go. There he is. Our hospitals stayed open, not only for the COVID-19 patients, but also for folks with other emergent care We've been successful with that, and I do believe that it's now time to begin listing the restrictions. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. So the first phase is going to be... All right, so Arlington increased 19 cases for a total of 384 and four deaths. Tarrant County, and this is as of April 27th, increased 72 cases for a total of 2,019 cases and 53 deaths. And Dallas County increased 91 cases for a total of 3,105 and 84 deaths. And this is down uh, from new cases from the day before. So I'm keeping tallies to see if the new cases are on the decline. And they are, but we still are getting cases. And I did an analysis starting from the very beginning. <clears throat> And uh, every three days, they were doubling. Then they went to every seven days. And then they've gone to now every 11 days doubling. So the gap is widening on cases doubling. But this is still troubling in that the DFW area is just starting, just now starting to decline their cases. So everywhere you see a case, know that there's probably 50 to 100 more in situ. That means it's on its way. That means the bullets have left the chamber. So we're not done and we may be opening prematurely. And because we're not recovering uh, coverings, I went to Costco yesterday and some asshole brushed past me at the register cut, doing a cut through. He had no mask on. I wanted to trip him instead I just gave him an F-bomb. But if I'd have had a taser that only goes six feet, he would have been tased. <laughs> 